Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. In the studio gallery, and I have a plan, and it has to do with having a riotous, obnoxious sky and some ribbon poured, stripy landscape. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, that's open. Yes, it is. And those are open. Yes, they are. And I have a cup around here somewhere. And I am going to give myself permission to put. Really? I see you. Come here. Ha! Ah. To put my riotous colors in there. And just start. I think I'm going to be very extravagant too, and I'm going to use some of this quinacridone magenta as a puddle. Maybe not. Maybe I have. You know what? I'm also going to put some. Some neon pink from folk art that's... Well, I would if it were open. So, give me a half a second. And I still didn't get it. Maybe it's not supposed to go in there. I have some other pink, though. And I think I'm going to use that instead. Oh, that's a great pink, too. Put some of that in there. Ooh, that's even purpley pink. That is perfect! So that's not much of a puddle, I gotta say. I'm not feeling very generous, I guess. A little more. It's a it's definitely an expensive habit. I want something else in that sky, like gold. I'm gonna be good. I didn't put any of my enamel in there, and I want some. So I'm gonna use some white acrylic enamel from Decor at Americana. And this time, instead of last time, I didn't pour from a high enough height. This time I'm definitely doing that. And I'm going to bring over my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula, my number five, second best one out of six I love, seventh one not so much. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that spatula off on my Lola Fee silicone mat because I make some really cool skins as opposed to washing it off or wiping it off. Why not? I really expect someday soon be doing something with that. So, stage one is here. And I've never done this into a puddle of solid color. It might just all turn a solid color. I don't know. So that's going to go down on my little Lafie silicone mat too, and that can drain. Oh, I'm going to do my secret weapon is to torch every time. Helps to make the cells pop. Helps to get rid of the air bubbles. I'm going to move some of my paint out of the way, even though I'm going to want it in a minute, because it's on my edge catcher. Now, in theory, if I put my glasses on my face, I'll have an easier time with this. Starting with grabbing whatever that thing is. I don't even know if this can work, but I'm very eager to find out if it if it will. If it's just a pink sky, that'll be all right. I don't know what they are, but they've got to go. Well, the going is good. And I suspect there might be more in there. Right there. Getting very good at identifying that. Well, it's going to be a bizarre sky, but that's okay. Might be really cool by the time I finish stretching it out if it'll go. I think I'm gonna do some weird stuff. I'm gonna to have to make some more of that color I can tell right now. Tip it back the wrong way. Tip, tip it back the right way. See, it doesn't have to be the whole length of it, but you do have to be able to keep an eye on where it's going. And paint will flow to paint. So this is a facilitatory tool to flow paint off the canvas so I can then move. Once I have my whole puddle, I can move it down or up. In this case, up. And then maybe down. Oh, I see all kinds of stuff in here. Wow. That's weird. Some, one, of my paint is, one of my paints is doing some strange things. So I'm just going to keep on with the same old, same old. 
and add my paint since it doesn't seem like I have enough. And I've got, it's got to be in that, in that color. Must be time to make some new, I think I said already. Let's go back in the wrong direction. The right direction, the wrong direction. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to find my white Anita's metallic or this other Amsterdam. Well, one down, one to go. I would really like to. <laughs> I've got some Sergeant's Pearl. That's going to have to do it. It's what's handy. Everything is plugging up today. I swear I used my little Floetol sieve. There it is. Cool. Let's get that thing out of there that's obvious. And that thing out of there that's obvious also. Bummer! <laughs> well, if I keep at it, maybe I'll succeed eventually. So I use the, the pearls, the metallics and the pearls, sort of like water and watercolor. They, may, they basically just dilute things beautifully. I've got another thing. Is it a bubble? It looks like a bubble. There we go. It was a bubble. That's not. If they're small, I can't catch them. So I don't have any real orange in there, and I'm going to give myself some pleasure with some real orange because I can sort of thing. And then let's continue with the tradition of adding what I want where I want to. Let's throw a little red in there too. Because I can. Hey, that is the name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath the video on the link tree where all kinds of cool stuff is stashed, including my Amazon link and my two books and the OXO omelet turning spatula. So if I move all that down And yes, I'm going to have some strange stuff on my bottom, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be putting more, more paint there anyway. Yeah, this is the long, <laughs> the long weird way of getting somewhere because I'm not doing anything conventional. But that's okay because I'm going to love this sky. I can tell you right now. And maybe by keeping adding colors, I'll figure out which one is corrupted. Because I haven't really been able to tell that yet. Even while I continually find new clumps of yucky. So once I have some more paint flowed off onto that edge catcher, I'm going to pick it up again. I'm going to try and get my bottles out while that's busy draining. So I have a place to put my edge catcher down, which is a good way to use it, to get the, to use the spatula to get things off of there. And this time, rather than get paint all over my arm, that's a very dirty spatula. I'm putting that in the bucket. What do I need up there? I don't need much. Just let it drain any old way it wants to. I am trying to take notice of the colors. And put them places I think they'll work well. One thing I didn't do in my last painting was to use the straw to blow things around, and I think I want to. This time.
Not sure I really wanted to get rid of all that white. Maybe one more tip. That's a pretty cool sky. Maybe two more tips. <laughs> I'm watching what's happening in here and I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. And I kind of think maybe not as much as I want to, so I'm just going to keep on looking for objects that need to be removed. know if that yellow needs to be there or not. Maybe it did and it's too late now. Well, now it's time to hope that I have flowed that paint far enough. And maybe, just maybe, I will make sure. Look, it's the ocean with the sunset on it. What is in there? Something I don't want in there. I did this the other day with a snow scene. So, I have a ring fork cup with some paint in it. Not a lot, but some. And I'm going to take my purple and my white metallic and my Prussian blue and my black enamel and my gold if it will come out. And maybe a little bit of orange because the sky is so orange. And I'm going to do a couple of weird things. Because I've been thinking about this. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I want to find out. Why not find out? Watching where the paint's flowing. Might take a little practice. And if I have spaces I need to fill in, I will try and do that with another solid color, which might be black or blue. That's a different way to do a landscape. I'm going to help that over right there. That was a lot of paint. I'm going to go back the other way. It does kind of look like reflections. I do need some paint for my bottom, my bottom to get covered. I'm going to fill this in over here right now. It's nice that the orange is a reflection from the sky. Do I have any more paint in my cup? That's a good question. Where's my cup? I do, I have some. Let's put a little more white metallic Prussian blue, dioxazine purple, and 24 karat gold in there. It's just a very stripey scape, which I'm going to flow over and back up and down. Hopefully that is a very schmutzy edge catcher. I am going to use whatever paint just came off on my edge catcher to cover my bottom very quickly. before then letting everything flow down again. I 
and move it over and check to see if it's covered and it is and I don't need to worry about any orange reflections and that is pretty much the sky I wanted almost and whatever else I need to do that to do to that I will after I wipe my hand off of all the schmutz on it I think I want some of my purple flash from folk art statement cloud. And if I want more, I'll give myself more. Because I like it. And there are other colors being unearthed, which is really okay. I do kind of feel a little bit like sticking a uh, skewer in there and spiraling some stuff out, but I don't think I need it. <laughs> nice of that to jump me again. I am going to go ahead and see if I get anything moving from the bottom up. I have two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address is underneath the link tree underneath the video. And I like that lump. I also like that I discovered what was lurking in there right now. It's not discouraging me from wanting to use my skewer. in the clouds to drag that white in there. Very cool. Do I want one more spot? I kind of do. Somebody knew that. <laughs> Come on, one more over there. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video. If you're looking for more of my videos, you can find 1,600 of them organized on 16 lists of 100, and the rest are lists of genre and topic. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. If you want to help me out, there is a monthly drawing every month for those of you who are contributing to help keep the studio rolling through PayPal or Patreon, and thank you to everyone who has. I really appreciate that. I want to scrape that paint off my turntable and put it right into the picture. <laughs> yes, I do. I better not, though, because it's got some other stuff in there. Okay, never mind. I'll be good. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments. You keep my morale boosted. Look underneath the link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Look underneath the video for my Oliver print leggings and t-shirts on the Teespring on the Teespring link with all the clothing. You can also find more of that on my community board on excuse me, on my YouTube channel on the community board. You'll find tomorrow's video. On the store you'll find more Teespring clothing. What else? What else? What else? Thank you, thank you, thank you. My Amazon link has all those things I was talking about. It has the spatulas, it has the books, it has cameras, it has paint, it has canvases, it has everything. And if you shop there, it's at no added cost to you and eventually it helps me out. And you can go there. You can go to anywhere on Amazon from my link and help me out if you'd like to. So, I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you subscribed. If you watch longer or you watch when notifications come out or you share my videos, which is really helpful. It's uh, very, very much appreciated. I love you much. I will see you anon, maybe tomorrow. And check for Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students on the link tree, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for shopping, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, fans and collectors for the edited artworks that I have so far added to the albums there. And I love you, I love you. I will see you anon. Thank you for joining me. I hope you come again. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Oh wait, I should zoom in. Why? Because I can. I love those colors together. I wanted a wild sky and I got one. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. Priscilla out.